let's start by taking a look at the five films that BAFTA members have voted the best of the last 12 months. The film with the most nominations this year is The King's Speech, in which the Duke of York, or Bertie to his friends, finds himself becoming king when his brother, Edward VIII, abdicates the throne on the eve of World War II. <laughs> The film tells the story of George VI coming to grips with his crippling stammer and the Australian speech therapist Lionel Logue, whose unorthodox methods and friendship help the unsure monarch cope with his new role. I believe sucking smoke into your lungs will kill you. My physicians say it relaxes the, the throat. Well, they're idiots. And they've all been knighted. Makes it official then. Going up against the King's Speech in 10 categories is Black Swan, which has 12 nominations overall. Black Swan is a psychological thriller about an obsessive ballerina preparing for the lead role in a production of Swan Lake. Perfectionist Nina has what it takes to play the white swan, but has trouble accessing her dark side for its alter ego, the Black Swan. Feel my touch, respond to it. Meanwhile, she has to contend with her overbearing mother and her understudy Lily, who may or may not be driving Nina to insanity as she tries to prepare for opening night. I watch the way she moves. Imprecise, but effortless. She's not faking it. Another tale of obsession in this year's best film category is The Social Network, which lifts the lid on the ambition, genius, and betrayal that led to the creation of Facebook. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. Mark Zuckerberg was a Harvard undergrad when he developed an idea that would become an internet phenomenon and make him billions of dollars. However, the social network revolves around the lawsuits brought by friends and fellow students who claim that Zuckerberg exploited them and that Facebook was not his idea. We know he stole our idea. We know he lied to our faces for a month and a half. No, he never lied to our faces. OK, he never saw our faces. Fine, he lied to our email accounts and he gave himself a 42-day head start because he knows what apparently you don't, which is that getting there first is everything. Help me! I can do nothing for you, son. Like The Social Network, True Grit is based on a book adapted from a 1968 novel that was first turned into a film in 1969 with John Wayne in the lead role. A headstrong farm girl, 14-year-old Matty Ross is determined to track down the fugitive who killed her father. When the sheriff won't help, she commissions gruff US Marshal Rooster Cogburn to help her catch him. However, Texas Ranger LaBeef is after the same fugitive, and the three make an uneasy team, all determined to get their man. Are you some kind of law? That's right. I'm a Texas Ranger. That may make you a big noise in that state. In Arkansas, you should mind that your Texas trappings and title do not make you an object of fun. Taking on the Cowboys, Kings, Computers and corps de ballet in the best film category is Inception, a mind-bending piece of science fiction about Dom Cobb, a thief who enters people's dreams to steal thoughts and secrets for corporate clients. You can train your subconscious to defend itself from even the most skilled extractor. How can I do that? Because I am the most skilled extractor. I know how to search your mind and find your secrets. I know the tricks and I can teach them to you so that even when you're asleep, your defense is never down. Cobb is haunted by events from his past and given the chance of redemption if he can pull off one last job. The hitherto impossible task of putting an idea into a target subconscious rather than taking it out, a process called inception.